His high wire act has taken him across the ocean, between towers, the Niagara Falls, the little Colorado River Gorge, and even Times Square. Now, Nick Walenda is going to really feel the heat with the high wire walk. That's three quarters of a mile over a freaking volcano. Nick, are we serious? What do you have in store for us this time? Yeah, so this is something that I've wanted to do for about six years now, ever since flying over an active volcano on the way to a corporate event in Mexico City. I thought, you know, it'd be amazing to walk over a volcano. And ever since then, it's been a journey of mine to find the right one in a mission. And I finally found one. It's in Nicaragua, and it had the everything that I was looking for for the postcard or for the front of the USA Today, yeah. uh, the front of the New York Times. That's the way I envision these walks. So this, this walk that I'll be attempting on Wednesday night has an active lava flow of over 2,000 plus degree magma flowing down below. Just the sound of it alone is intimidating, let alone the heat. And of course, what comes with that active volcano are heavy, deadly gases that'll be in the air. So I will be forced to wear a gas mask on Wednesday evening, mm -hmm. also wearing goggles to protect my eyes because it'll actually burn my eyes. Uh, the gas emitted from that actually has been an issue leading up to this walk because it's been adhering to the cable, which there's concerns that it could actually have made the cable uh, slippery. There's also concerns with the integrity of the cable, and of course I've got an amazing team of engineers uh, and riggers and scientists on my team, but we actually put a piece of wire rope down into the center of that volcano for about six months, and it disintegrated wow. after six months. It actually fell apart to pieces. So there are many, many, many challenges with this, and that's not to mention the fact that it's an active volcano. It, oh. it literally could erupt at any moment. That's right. Uh, for those of us familiar with the landscape of Nicaragua, you know of this volcano. Um, it's large, it's hot. You're dealing with a lot of elements. This will be the, the, the highest, longest high wire walk ever attempted. Is this correct? It will. So this 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 is for me this is a record uh, and something again that I'm pushing myself and the reason why I do what I do is to hopefully inspire other people to step out of their comfort zones and I can promise you on Wednesday night when I take that first step live right here on ABC I will be stepping out of my comfort zone. Well and I was a little out of my comfort zone when I realized right before this interview you are in fact doing this live. I mean my goodness. Uh, Talk me through the mindset. I, I, I can see already that this is about um, preparing for and controlling all these elements, uh, these dangerous elements that you're dealing with. But, but what's it like for you physically in the last hour before the walk? It's, it's very, very difficult. I, I sort of get into a zone, if you will, and, uh, and I'm on a mission at that point, and nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to get on that wire no matter what the elements are like. Of course, I can't control those. I can prepare uh, for worst cases or what we think is worst case, but the reality is I'll be in the middle of that volcano or that caldera in a spot where no one in the world has ever been, so we don't really know what it's going to be like in the middle. So I get in a sort of a zone, and then I get on that wire and walk. However, my wife, we just announced that my wife is going to be breaking a world record and the what? most dangerous stunt of her career just moments before I actually get on that wire. So therefore, unfortunately, I won't have the luxury that I normally do of being able to get into that zone because I'll be so concerned about her and her safety. And we're encouraging <laughs> viewers, make sure you tune in from the top of the show because you're going to see a couple incredible world records and things that no one in the world have ever attempted between what my wife is going to do and what I will be doing. You know, Nick, that's pretty romantic, actually, breaking world records together. I wish you both luck. Really quick, uh, your, your wife's name and, and what uh, feat she will be attempting. My wife's name is Irene de Walenda, and tune in early, and you'll find out what the feat is. Oh, we got a little teaser there. I like it, my friend. Listen, I'm going to maybe say a little prayer for you, but I know you got this. This is in your blood. Uh, best of luck, and uh, thank you for attempting this. Awesome. Nick Walenda outdoes himself once again. My goodness, did you hear this? Catch the two-hour live special right here on Channel 13 tonight starting at 8.